just thought I'd do a quick introductory video on Tinkercad. The website is tinkercad.com. This is a very simple 3D design I did, supposed to be for a cake. Anyway, you can just click on the cube on the lift and you can get different views of it. Now, if you want to add something, you just drag it from the right onto the screen. Now, the placement of it can be a little bit awkward initially because we are talking about a three-dimensional object. A bit bigger and smaller. And of course, if you want to take something out, just uh, highlight the object, press the delete key. You can bring in a ruler and even letters. And you can change the colours of things as well. Anyway, that's the 3D aspect. As for the circuits, I thought I'd make a very simple circuit. You drag the parts from the right and move them to the center of the screen and then you can just join lines for connecting wires. This circuit isn't particularly neat, but it's a good simple thing to get you started. This is the LED, an NPN transistor, 9 volt battery and to limit the current I've just put in a 1k resistor in series in the emitter lead of the transistor going to the negative terminal. In the base I've got a 100k resistor and that goes to the center pin of a potentiometer. That is 250k. The idea here is just to demonstrate a simple transistor switch. When there's no voltage on the base, there's no current consumption going through the transistor and therefore the LED is not lighting up. But then when you raise the voltage of the base from zero up to a few volts, you start to get current flowing through the base and then a larger current through the collector and that allows the LED to light up since the LED is in the collector circuit. So something like this could be a good way of explaining transistor theory in simple terms. At the top here is start simulation. So we will do so keeping an eye on the LED and the setting of the potentiometer. This is the potentiometer fully counterclockwise so that there is zero volts on the base of the transistor the LED is not lighting at all and then when we move it off its stop it's dim, we move it further and it gets brighter. Again no voltage on the transistor a little bit, a bit more and as you can see it's now turned on. What about this 1K down here? That is about right as a current limiting resistor for an LED circuit using a 9 volt battery. Make it 10 ohm. And you'll note that the resistor value actually changes the color code on the body of the resistor when you change its value. Really like that. Anyway, we're still in simulate mode and we crank up the potentiometer. It gets brighter. You keep going. And we've blown the LED. Yep, at this point, way too much current is flowing. The current limiting resistor is way too low and the LED is in trouble. What about other circuits? On the right hand, you can select different components, inductor, zener diode, 
various switches, photodiodes, motors, LCDs, breadboards, Arduinos. So you can make quite sophisticated projects all on this simulating thing. Anyway, I've only had a few minutes playing with this, but it's potentially a lot of fun and something that could be helpful if you're learning electronics. The website again is tinkercad.com. And to get started, you do need to sign in. You just need to give them your email address and then you can log in. Potentially useful, not only for circuits, but also 3D printing. 